morning. All right, let's go ahead and stand up. Stand up nice and straight. We're going to warm up with the ball today. And let's start marching it out. Remember to keep that chest lifted. That keeps those shoulders down. And let's just raise it up and down. Raise it up. Now when you bring it down, think of squeezing those back muscles a little bit. So you're taking it up and then down. So my elbows come down, just going back a little bit behind me so I can get that nice back squeeze and breathe. Good. Remember, move where you can. If you can't get your arms up, that's okay. Take it where you can. You can always go out and in if you need to. Let's add that in. So it's up, out. So keep those legs coming up. I know, arms and legs are doing something completely different. So you have to think a little bit more. Let's do one more. And then out. Good. And step it side to side. Picking your feet up. And let's take it to some shoulder taps. So get some little bicep curls in here. And breathe. Keep those eyes forward. Keep your spine nice and straight. We're not twisting here at all. We're going to get ready to transition. Take it to a knee lift. And let's tap those hips. Now here you can get a little rotation. Notice that my shoulders are turning and my head moves with my shoulders. So I'm following the ball with my eyes, but I'm staying up straight. So I'm not bending, I'm just rotating. Again, keep that spine nice and straight. Good. And last one, and march it out. And here we go. We're going to step and touch. Try to take, this time I want you to try to take a wider step, really wide. And we're going to go ahead and pull that ball open with our arms. So we're stretching out that chest. Passing that ball back and forth. Now, if you need to hold on to your chair, you can just focus on the legs. So, you don't need to worry too much about the ball. If you need the chair for balance, remember, you find what you can do and you do that. But standing still and watching is not an option. Good. Open. Picking those feet. Don't forget, you're trying to step very wide as well. And last one. Nice job. March it out. Take this ball. Keep marching. All right. You're going to take the ball in your right hand, in the palm. We're going to take our arm out to the side. And we're going to march and look at this ball. Stand up straight. Get your chest lifted. And give yourself some room now because we're going to go around. So if you're behind your chair, if you need to stay there, that is okay. All right? But we're going to use our hand wherever this ball is, it's over a spot on the floor, 
and we want to keep our hand at the ball over that spot and we're just going to kind of march around. I mean, it's going to move a little bit. Had to avoid the chair. Good. And switch. Let's take it to the left hand in the palm. Just march. Looking at the ball, shoulders are down. Same thing. Take a look and see where that hand, your hand and the ball um, are located on the floor, that spot. That's the spot around which you walk. Ready? So the arm and the ball should not move very much from there. Keep your eyes on the ball if you can. Good. I mean, it's not going to be exact. Good job. All right. Tap those knees. If you want, you can even just let the ball loose. You don't have to, um, you're not pushing it onto the leg. You're just letting go, tapping the ball. Whoop. <laughs> and that's going to happen because you never know where it's going to go. I'm just letting go, catching it, hand eye coordination. Last one, we'll march it out. All right, deep breath in and out. All right, here we go again, take it wide. We're gonna alternate, we're gonna go step touch, shoulders, hips. Step, step, shoulders, hips. Let's add a knee lift. Actually, it's hips, so sorry about that. <laughs> hip, hip, step, step, hip, hip, step, step, hip, hip. Breathe. We're going to do one more. Good. March it out. Deep breath in and out. Good job. Let's put that ball down. We'll just do a little bit of stretching. You might have felt a lot of that warm up in your legs and your glutes. Good. Let's roll those shoulders back. Roll them back. Good. Let's take it wider. Start bringing those arms in a big circle. Use your shoulder as that um, center point or that axle around which you circle. So not down here. Take it around the shoulder. Now switch direction. Good. And hands up and circle those hands around the wrists. And the other direction. Good. Make a fist. Flick it out. Make a fist. Flick it out. Again, make a fist. Flick it out. Make a fist. And flick it out. Good. Just shake. Shake it. Put your hands together and just gently push, just stretching out, stretching out. Good. Shake it out. All right. Um, hands on the hips, elbows out. You're standing up nice and straight. And head, shoulders are, and are turning. So turn. Good. Back to center. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, turn the shoulders. Keep your elbows out. Elbows out. Don't let them cave in. Keep those hands on your hips. Standing straight. 
Good, one more. Good, shake it out. Uh, left leg out in front, point and flex the foot. Good, and circle, make a circle with your big toe around the ankle and switch direction. Good, switch feet, switch legs, point and flex. Now remember, when you're on one leg, don't slump down. Don't, you know, crunch yourself all together. Keep pulling up through your waist. Make a circle with your big toe and circle the other direction. Good, and shake it out. Roll those shoulders out. Good, all right. So we're gonna just dive right in and we're gonna get, we're gonna start with some gliders, all right? So uh, you can make sure you have your chair nearby. And um, we're gonna do a combination move. So we're going to do four forward and backward slides and then four slides out to the side. So remember, please, with that side slide, your body isn't moving with it. You stay over your supporting leg. So if we're using our left leg, it's the left leg that's going to go, and then we're gonna take it out to the side. So you see, I never move my position here, all right? So your weight is over that right leg, okay? So we're going to Stand up nice and straight, and let's extend. And you gotta push down into that glider, take it back, extend your leg as far as you can, get your glute into it. And again, forward, backward, forward. Get your arms into it. Last one. Now, out to the side. Two, three, four. Again, forward, back. Forward, arms are still moving opposite the leg. One more time. Good, now out to the side. Two, three, four, and again. One, two, three, four, out to the side. One, two, three, four, and one more time. One, two, three, four, to the side, one, two, three, four, good, so that leg was moving, but this leg was sure feeling it, because that was stabilizing us and taking all our weight, good, all right, same thing, other side, make sure you really push your right foot into that glider so you don't leave it behind. Ready? Get the arms moving. Opposite. Two, three, four to the side. One, two, three, four. And again, forward. One, two, three. Extend. Four to the side. One, two, three, Four. Again, one, two, extend that leg, three, four, to the side, one, two, keep your chest lifted, and breathe, and again, one, one more time, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, good job, put that away. <laughs> Get it out of our sight. All right, so kind of shake it out a little bit. Let's take a deep breath in and out. All right, so we're gonna be going pretty much, we are gonna use the ball with one thing, but we're gonna go to our band. And we're gonna start, and we're gonna keep our legs moving as well while we do this upper body work. So take that band up, um, yeah, 
We're gonna do some chest presses. So band is around your back. All right. Grab that band close to the chest. There should be no slack. Your hands should not be out here. They should not be here with the band all loosey-goosey. Band should be coming right underneath the armpits, right at your chest, and walk your hands close to the, to the chest. Keep those shoulders down. Let's start with our right leg, start marching it out, and we're gonna press it out and bring it in. With control, please, and push, push. Push. Make sure those feet are coming up off the ground. Push. 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 Three more. Three. Two. Actually, let's do two more. We're up in these today. One. Two. Good. Now, we're going to tap it, let's tap it side to side. We're going to change the arms, take them out, and we're going to bring them in. So kind of out to the side, bring it right in front of you. So keeping the bottom, your bottom part of your body, your legs moving, going to help keep that heart rate up just a little bit so you'll get your a lot of cardio today without working too too hard we'll do I think that was about eight nine we have five more on each side five four make sure again that you're keeping tension on this band two you know, don't let the, so always, 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 when we use the bands, you want to come back, but you want to come back to a point where you still have tension, and that's where I want you to stop. Don't let it go slack. Keep tension on that band, okay? All right, let's do it again. March it out, and let's push straight out. Two, three. Four. I'm staying up nice and straight and taking it back with control, keeping tension. We're going to do four more. We're going to do 15 on the first set, two more, 12 on the second. Good. Now we're going to tap it side to side. Get ready. Bring it around. Two, around, now if you want, you can lift the leg for a little bit more challenge, four more on each side, four, three, Two, plus you're, now you're working those hip muscles. One, good, shake it out. Okay, let's take that band, whoops, out from behind. All right. Um, all right, we're gonna do a curl with, now you can either, Curl and tap it out, or you can curl and lift. All right, you can still hold on to the chair. Again, your hand, when grabbing the band, this band should not have any slack in it. But make sure that you have enough resistance and you've given yourself enough band that you can curl it up. Keep your elbow by your side, ready, let's go. Control this band on the way down. We're about halfway. We got five more. Five, 
four, three, feeling it again, two, one. Good, let's switch. Switch sides. Keep your, remember with these bicep curls, your elbow stays by your side. Ready, here we go. Make sure you have enough resistance on this band. And control the leg on the way down as, as well. Don't just take it up and let it plop down. You want to control it somewhat on the way down. So if you need to hold on to a chair, five more, then please do that. Four, control the band, control your leg. Two more, one, two, good. So our other side got a little rest, let's go back. Oh wait, hold on. Let's do um, the other exercise, then we'll go back and do that. All right, so take the band out. Forgot we had another exercise in this little circuit. Palms are up, band across uh, your palms. Again, no slack here. And we're going to squat. Your arms are gonna stay out and then we're gonna pull it in. Notice that when I pull it in, I'm pulling my elbows back and I'm squeezing my back muscles, okay? Arms out, ready, squat, hips back, come up, pull in. Good. I want you to walk your hands a little closer together, make it just a little harder. Keep your chest up, knees over your laces. Shoulders down, squeeze those back muscles. You should have tension right here on the band. Tension. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, good. Let's go back onto the band. Right foot only on the band. Grab that band, pull it so your hand should be right down by your thigh. No, no slack on this band. Ready, we're gonna curl, keep your elbow by your side, lift. Control your leg on the way down. Try to keep your body upright as well. Try not to lean. Four more, four, three, two, one. Good, switch sides. Elbow by your side, ready? Stand up straight, keep your eyes forward. Six more, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Squat and pull. Take the band in your hands and the palms, arms are out, no slack here. Remember, when we bring it in and then out, keep tension here. So grab that band, a little bit, your hands a little closer on that band. Ready, squat, pull, squeeze those back muscles. Pull, pull, and breathe. Good, knees going over your laces. Abs are tight. Stand all the way up. Four more, four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out a little bit. And um, you 
You might need to be behind your chair. And if this is, uh, if you need to hold on to the uh, chair for this one, um, you can just do this without the band because we're going to be doing some toe raises and then our elbows are going to be out like this with the band. Again, no slack here, so we'll go up on our toes and then we're going to straighten it out. So work in those triceps. So you may have to take your hands um, a, a little bit more apart so that you can stretch. You want to get those arms out, straight, shoulders down. Ready? Let's go up, out, up, out. If doing the toe raises is too hard or you have foot or toe problems, then just stand and just focus on the arms. Remember, find what you can do and do that. So you should be feeling in, in the back of the arms. Keep those shoulders down so you've got to squeeze those shoulder blades together. We have seven more. Seven. Six. I almost said five. Five. Four. Woo, my arms are feeling it. Three, arms and shoulders. Two. One. Good. That's building up endurance in your muscles when you're having to hold it for a period of time like that. All right. So we're going to hold the band. We're going to start marching. We're going to bring our arms up, pull it apart so that you're like a Y. Pull. Get your back muscles in, down, and pull it apart. Again, using those back muscles up. Down, up, down, up. Good job, up, up, pull. Arms stay somewhat straight, up, up. We do a long set first, then we go a little bit shorter for the second. Five more. Five. Make sure your shoulders are down right here. Four. Ooh-wee, I'm feeling it. Three. Two. One. Good. All right, let's give ourselves a hug. We're going to stretch that one out, and then we're going to go do it again. These two exercises with our toe raise, and then we have um, kind of a balance exercise, balance core leg exercise. We'll finish, and then we'll stretch. And I can't believe we're almost to the end already. All right, I know a lot of arms, shoulders, and back on this one. Okay, um, so. The band, you're going to grab the band with your hands. Hands are right in front of your chest. Shoulders are down. Elbows are out. And then remember, as you do the toe raise, you really want to just straighten those arms out, keeping your elbows lifted, shoulders down. So you really got to keep that chest lifted. Ready? Let's go up on our toes. And then stretch it out. Good. Up. Out. Again, you don't have to do the toe raise if you need to hold on to the chair. That way you can just focus on doing the upper body. Make sure your shoulders are down. Up. Out. Halfway there. Six more. Up. Out. Six. Up. Out. Five. Up. Out, four, up, out, three, up, out, two, up, out, one. Oh my goodness, 
Feeling that. All right. So last one. Um, we're going to march. And then we take our arms up like a Y. And we're pulling. As you're pulling, you're squeezing these big back muscles right here on either side of your spine. They look like butterfly wings. They're called the latissimus dorsi, dorsi. Um, you may hear them called the lats. And then we bring it down and pull it out. So really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Let's start marching it out. Arms down, pull it up and pull. Good, bring it down, pull. And now if one of these moves bothers you, then just do the one you can do. Three. Four. <clears throat> Five, six, good, breathe, keep that chest lifted, shoulders down, pull, focus on using those back muscles, all right, we're almost there, four, three, two, woo. One, good job, put this down. Whew. Let's do a quick little stretch for that, okay? Take your left arm over your right, give yourself a hug, walk your fingers back a little bit further, and just round it down a little bit. Good. Shake it out. Take that right arm across. Walk your hands back a little bit further. You're giving yourself the biggest bear hug that you can uh, muster. So stretch out those back muscles. Just a quick little stretch. And then we're going to grab the ball, do a little bit of balance. Good. And let's just grab our hand and pull down. Lift the chest and breathe. Good. All right, let's grab the ball. So you may want to have the, the chair to your right. We're going to take a big step back with our left leg. And we're going to come down with the move. Make sure you have a, a lot of space here, or enough space, because as you come down, you lunge down, we're gonna reach the ball for the floor. We're not touching, we're not trying to touch. And I don't want anybody coming down and bending forward. You keep your chest up, your eyes should be forward. If you have toe issues, then don't do that. Just keep your back foot flat on the ground, all right? So, let's take the ball. Now we're going to come down, now you're going to come up, reach up, and we're bending to the side. Good. And again, you're coming down, up, reach up, bend to the side. Feel that nice stretch. Good. Come down, bend that back knee, and to the side. So remember, when we do this lunge, we're not pushing our forward knee forward so much as we're bending our back leg. So we're gonna do four more. So we're gonna come down, up, up, to the side, four, up, three, up, Two, make sure that forward knee goes over the laces. You know that every time we're bending, our knees always, always, always go over the laces. Go right over the middle of your foot. Switch hands if you need to. Get the chair to your left side. Big step back with that right leg. Big step, because when you come down, you want your knee to stay, um, you want to stay behind the tops of your toes. So if you're, too sh if you're too narrow here, when you come down, your knee is gonna push out over your toes. Ready, come down, chest stays up, reach. 
bend. Good. Come down. Again, break this down. Do what you can. If there's something that you can't do or it's too, you know, doesn't feel stable enough for you, then do what you can do. Good. We have four more. So reaching and up four. Up three. Two. Up to the side. Good. Yay. Yay, all of you. So let's start stretching it out a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and still, we did a lot with our upper body today. So let's take that right arm across, keep this right shoulder down. So I like to not only use my left hand to bring this arm in, but I also kind of bring it in and help pull it out just a little bit. Don't let it pull you around, but you want to stay up nice and straight so that you feel so that you're actually getting the stretch through the shoulder and that upper back a little bit. Now let's reach all the way around. Use your hand and try to get that space right between the shoulder blades. Good. And let's do the other side. Same thing. So keep the shoulder down. Bring that arm across. And breathe. Good. Now reach around for that space between the shoulder blades. And I didn't bring mine out, but um, if you have your strap, let's get your strap. And I'm going to grab mine real quick. Since we're standing, we're going to go ahead and stretch. We're going to stretch out those arms and back. Take the, the strap in your right hand, drop it behind you. You're going to grab your left hand, the strap wherever you can, and let's start by pulling down. So again, this is going to stretch out the tricep on this right arm, this arm that's uh, the elbow is pointing up, the tricep is right at the back of the arm. On the other side of the bicep, everybody always knows where the biceps are. And now we're going to use this right hand and we're going to pull that left one up a little bit higher on the back. You can bring this strap over your shoulder if you need to. Let's get my wire. Feeling that stretch in the shoulder. You should feel some tension. There should not be pain, um, but you should feel some tension. Very mild, mild discomfort just from the stretch. But again, there shouldn't be pain. There is a big difference. Okay, and let's switch hands. So take the loop, um, the strap in your left hand, drop behind, and you're going to pull down. Lifting your left elbow up to the ceiling as much as you can. Again, you're getting a nice stretch through the tricep. This is the back of the arm. Stretching out the shoulders as well. Lift your chest. Two. So we stay up nice and straight and our shoulder blades get pulled down. And breathe. Good. Pull it up. Pull that hand up a little bit higher on the back. If you need to, you can bring it over the body. I hope you feel worked out today. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and put this down. And if you want, you can keep your you can keep your foot on the floor, your feet on the floor. So you want to take your right leg back. Adjust.
your back foot so all toes are going forward. If you need to, just pull your heel out a little bit more. You can also put your, um, your left foot up on the chair and we're going to push that back heel into the chair. Using the chair arms, you can use these for leverage to help push. So feeling a nice stretch in the calf, in the back of the leg. Good, now come on up, body up nice and straight. Push your hip forward. Make sure your knee is over, over the laces not pushing your knee past the tips of your toes. Push that hip forward. Let's hinge back just slightly, slightly, and push forward a little more, really feeling that stretch in the front of the hip. Did do a little too much with legs, though we did keep them moving for a good portion. So that should have kept your heart rate up just a little bit. We really worked out that upper body today. Good. And then you can just step that in about a half a step and sit back on that right hip, pulling your left toes up towards the ceiling. If you want, you can reach as well. No need to touch. Breathe. Good. And let's switch. So it's the same thing, keeping your feet down on the floor. You're going to take that left leg back. Bring your heel out a little bit if you need to do that to straighten your feet. But let's take that, you can take that right leg up on the chair. Push that heel down. Everybody's toes should be going forward. This back leg should be straight. That's going to help get that stretch. Push that heel down. Good. Bring your body up. Push that hip forward. Push it forward. Remember, I'm not going to cue you, but just remember about this knee. So check to make sure you're in good form. Always think about your form. I always want you to think about form first and slightly hinge back. Do not do what I, you know, if you can't do the reps or keep up and your form suffer, I mean, you're suffering your form for that, then I want you to slow it down, do less, and focus on your form. Remember, it's quality we're looking for, quality of the movement. Because it's not going to help you if you're doing something and you're just, you know, flailing or flinging your arms and legs around. And you can hurt yourself. All right, so let's tuck that back foot in and sit back on that hip. Pull your toes towards you. I know I say that, but I just, you know, being in here by myself, um, not seeing all of you, hopefully that will end soon, or at least to some degree. Um, I just want to keep reminding you that please make sure that you're focusing on the quality of the movement. You can always reach. Good, and come on up. And just kind of shake it out a little bit. Let's tuck that left foot behind the right. And again, we're going to take it over and keep your left hip down. So really push your left foot into the floor as hard as you can, getting a nice stretch down into the hip. Good. And let's switch. Other side, right foot behind the left. Push your right foot down into the floor. Keep your right hip down. Really try to keep it down, pushing it towards the floor. That way you can really feel that nice stretch down your side, down into the hip. You may feel it a little bit in the lower back. Good, and come on up. 
All right, let's just uh, kind of just move the hips around, circle them around a little bit. And let's get some nice deep breaths in and out. One more time again. Deep breath in through the nose and out. Shoulders stay down. Last one. Deep breath in and out. And thank you. Have a great day and a great weekend.